this week on Oz Track and Adventures. Oh, is that it? Tiny flat thing. Ha! <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, I thought I'd show you something very interesting for, especially for beginners starting out and they want to learn. Okay guys, I thought I'd show you something very interesting for, especially for beginners starting out and they want to learn where to target areas to hunt. And it doesn't just go for the Pilbara, this goes for everywhere. But up here, so I found myself an alluvial bank. So all this area up here is all alluvials. And a good key indicator, if you can see in this creek here, we've got beautiful polished smooth ironstone rolling up like that one there real water worn ironstone beautiful smooth pieces like them all this beautiful smooth ironstone i've got myself a little bit of a schist bar running out here and that, that ironstone like this stuff that's a really good indicator of alluvial banks because it's been water worn over the hundreds of thousands and millions of years. So all that type of area doesn't mean there's gold there, but it's a bloody good place to look. So I thought I'd work my way up this creek. You come across an area like that, have a good poke around because it's likely it could carry gold. All right, you little ripper, let's get this piece out. Look at this sandstone. Look at it, beautiful. Beautiful stuff, mate. This one isn't in the schist, guys. This is just one that's parked his way up there in transit to find him home on the schist bars. So we'll have a little scratch at this one. Hopefully that's going to be another bit of colour. I reckon it's going to be. Trapped right here somewhere between this beautiful, worn, worn ironstone. There's that one out of the road. See, you've been sitting there for a while, smooth on top. It's a good year. Sound a bit better now, doesn't he? Down there away, so I'm positive. Nice, strong, re responsive signal. If that's it, no. Oh, bullshit. Oh, yeah, baby. Ew. That's a nice piece of gold, guys. Bloody delicious. Oh, yes. Beautiful piece. Oh, I'm super pumped with that bit, guys. That's well and truly over a gram. That'd be two. More than be, yeah. Two grams. Easy. Have a look at that one, hey? That's a nice bit. That's bloody fantastic. I'm super, super stoked with that. Nice alluvial piece of gold, that one. Hang on, I'll just, uh... Oh cracker absolute freaking cracker just there that's another little signal just there oh it's fantastic and i've only done oh bugger all of this little little gully so far happy day rodeo let's get into it and get this target out hopefully it's going to be another two grammar
What did we get ourselves this time? It is just a teeny bit, but it's gold. Just a super teeny bit that time, but that's okay. It's still yellow. Just a little fella. And that's the third bit already, just out of following this wash. All right, let's cruise up here and see if we can jag another, eh? Out hunting a section of creek today, I've found gold upstream that way. And I've found gold kilometers downstream that way. Now, I haven't done this section of the creek, but I've got ourselves a nice little signal just here. Hopefully that's going to be something nice to put in the jar. But we don't know until we have a scratch or I've dug a few pieces of tin already this morning. But we don't need to see that. Really. That's our tinny. dig with that rock there in the road. Oh, you little ripper. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, nice. That's a nice nugget. Have a look at that. That's a bloody cracker. Hey? Beautiful. Happy days. Just uh, dropped off the edge there, jammed myself down in that schist. And uh, we got ourselves a beautiful piece of gold there, guys. Happy days. Oh, I love hunting the creeks, all right. Let's get back into it and uh, get ourselves another nuggy. So something I like to do when I'm hunting the creeks, I just identified, that's that nugget we just got there. So I sat down and had a drink and I'm just looking back up creek, just looking at the line of the schist bars, looking which way it runs, and then looking down, downstream. And I'm paying attention to where my heavies are dropping out as well. And I'm looking for the for the iron stone. I think you can see it starting to drop out. There's a nice little patch there just before that nugget we got. We got some nice little water-worn iron stone there mixed in amongst this stuff. So that's a really good thing to look out for. Oh, there's a nice, nice piece right, right there. Nice water-worn iron stone. So that's what I like to do. I just like to pull up, have a bit of an observation, and I like to have a good scan of the area. And that's that hole there. We've got ourselves another target just here. And you can see just under here, we've got yeah, water-worn ironstone, this real pebbly stuff there like laterite material which is really good and I reckon in the schist just here there's going to be another nuggy. All right let's have a look at this one guys or well, hopefully it's going to be a nuggy. How cool is that? Some of the stones are really cool too like look at the formations. I've seen one I swear to god it was a roofing tile the other day it had this beautiful crisscross pattern on it like a waffle. Looked pretty cool. And here let's get back to this target.
bang that out and give myself some room to move. Don't want to move your material too far because if they're tiny, you're going to lose it. Sounds tasty. Sounds tasty. My bet's on gold. Just for the simple fact in the material that's there. But sometimes BBs and tin has a weird way of working itself in the gold houses, in the gold homes where the gold lots to live. Nice and loud, so that's good. Oh, I think I've seen it. It's a spess. Let's see it sitting in the scoop. Quartz spessy, nice one. Yeah, she's a spess. Nice, nice shape though. There you go, guys. Another beautiful quartz spessy there. Beautiful, beautiful piece of gold there. Bit of gold in that too. Happy, I'm happy with that. Fantastic, yeah, so don't be in a rush to charge down creek. Just take, take your time if you find a bit. Have a good skiing around. And this is a fantastic place. To look for gold on these schist bars and rocks they like to fall out at their earliest possible convenience buy themselves a nice little house to park up in and that's why they sit until you come along and dig them out nice piece all right uh, having a bit of a spessy day today i've uh, got another target just over there near that rock there where i put that other rock on so let's go over there and have a look and see what that one is. Sounds like the good stuff. out don't know about this one it's not walloping or anything If it's gold, it's not going to be a big piece. Oh, rocks make it really hard to scoop too. Mm. Now it's singing to me. Might be tin this time. I think it's tin. Can't 
can't make it out. Oh no. It's gold. Another quartz spassy. There you have it. Another quartz spessy there. The golds are. Oh, I can't get it to sit right in my hand. Just there, all on that side of it there. You little ripper. And I do have Screamer Target over there somewhere. I'll go find that and we'll dig that up. I'm, a, I'm pretty sure it's going to be tin, but yeah. Spessy day. Just starting to work my way back to the car now. I met up with my boot prints further up creek, so I know I've already been to that section. And on the way back, got a little signal tucked up here in the schist, just here. Let's have a look at this one. Hopefully, that's going to be another nice little piece of gold for today. Be a first. I've never got if it's gold, I've never got gold in this reddish purpley schist yet. Oh, don't do that, silly bugger. Thought I made myself a big crevice. Gonna have to bang all that out now. Takes up nice and easy the purple stuff. Definitely a target there somewhere. I prefer the more greenish schist or the baby yellow, baby poo yellow schist, I call it. Moved our target. Does sound like gold. Or tin. I'm going with tin. Ah, shut your mouth, Jaspo. Wow, what a funny shaped piece of gold. It's like you. What is on that side? Beautiful little, little teeny one, but still pretty. Just a little piece there. But it's gold, nice flat piece, and it's in the shape of a U. U for Eureka! You little ripper, alright, I'll keep working my way back to the car. 
And I'm going to call it for today. Go home, have an easy one. And uh, might go home and crush up a few species. Thought I'd do this one just quickly. I didn't film digging it out. Just here in the crack of that chiss bar there. Just after we just got that last one, I've got this beautiful little, beautiful shiny little piece of gold. Nice shape to that one. Pretty happy with that. And I've got it in a different colored chiss bar gorse. I've got it in, the pur in a purple one, which is a first for me. I've never got gold in the purple one yet. Just goes to show you, gold usually, it'll park up wherever it just wants to park up. That's where it's going to park up. But that's really cool. It's a nice shape piece. I like that one. All right, time to go back to the car, I think. Um, yeah, I just keep working my way back. Camera's going to go flat anyway. And we're going to go home and crush up some species. So, Rodeo guys, it's come for that special time of week again, hasn't it? It's time for another weigh-in. Yep. And we're doing weigh-in from a different location this week. We're currently in Port Hetland at the Big Four Caravan Park. We had to shoot off from our prospecting adventure last week. Yeah. Up here to Port Hetland so Lisa could do her... What do you call it, dear? Clinical placement. Clinical placement. So, yeah, so Lisa's had to go to the hospital and work for free for three three weeks. Yeah, got another two to go, so, yeah. Yeah, another couple of weeks to go. So, for all you that are following along, would like to know what Lisa's up to. She's studying her Bachelor of Nursing, so that's why we've had a shoot-off from the whole prospecting, haven't we, dear? Yep. But, anyhow, it's uh, time for weigh-in. Whose turn is it? You can go first. I'll go first this week, alright. So, um, these are all the species that I've been getting out of the creek last week, guys, and um, I've crushed them all up, but they're in the jar, so I'm not, I'm not going to tip that out. So, we've just got an empty bottle here, the same, exactly the same bottle. So, we'll just tear that off there. Righty -o, we'll chuck all those uh, fines on. And we've got, uh, holy shit, 20.79 grams, guys. That's, that's bloody really good. You 20 grams there in that jar and in all those little cord species I was picking up out of the creek and those couple of Einstein ones I got as well. Okay, so all my little nuggies this week. Really? Holy dooly. That's bloody awesome guys, I'm super, I didn't, I actually, we didn't have time to do a quick weigh in or nothing like that because we had to do the mad bolt to get Lisa up here for um, clinical placement. That's another bloody 20 grams right there guys, have a look at that. I'm, I'm super stoked with that deer, like that's like 40 grams out of just working those creeks and working them gullies this week, like. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's really paid off for me, like identifying those alluvial areas and just targeting those areas. Yeah, sorry for the background noise, guys. Um, if you hear a bit of banging and clanging, there's people putting up tents, and we've got kids running around and all the usual exciting Yay. stuff at the Caribbean parks. All right, but that's um, that's Jasper's goal this week. All right, Lisa's turn. Hang on, dear. Just make sure that's uh, teared out there. You're good to go. So Lisa didn't film any nuggies this week because she's had a lot of assignments to do for uni, but she still managed to bang a few nuggies around camp, didn't you, dear? Yay. Hey. So that's all Lisa's nuggies she's got just bumming around a camp still. You still managed to pick gold up around there, weren't you? Yeah, the most big one there when you go about three grams. Another three gramer? That's like four three grammers and bloody. I oh, know it's gonna weigh me neck down. Yeah. Like that's that that's Lisa's go-to size these days, guys. Say three grammars, like you're pulling three grammars out every bloody Sunday. You got to take them. But that's a really good effort. So what's that? 20, 20, 40, 40. What'd you get? 48. 48 grams in a in in a week, guys. That is bloody, absolutely friggin' magic. And that's what we come back for. And that's why we hunt the pilbara and hunted the nullagine. And it's um really paid off for this week. Well, next time you see us, we'll be doing something different. That's right. So we rolled into Port Hedland and we've got some exciting news. One of our subscribers has contacted us on the Facebook channel. And absolute legend. Absolute there. legend, Carl. 
and his wife RJ have contacted us on the YouTube channel. So next week's content, we're going to go out and do something uh, extremely exciting. Like, or we're super pumped. I'm super pumped for it. Lisa's super pumped for it. It's totally different content, but we won't tell you what it is. We'll have to wait until next week to see what happens. Yeah. Isn't that right, dear? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this week. So until next week, don't forget to like, subscribe. Hit that notification button and uh, leave, leave a comment. Leave a comment and share it with your mates, guys. And we'll see you next week for a bloody, it's going to be a cracking bloody episode. Yeah, also just check us out on Facebook and Insta. We don't really do much on Insta. Every now and then I'll throw something up, but yeah. No worries. All right, guys. Till next week. Catch you later. See ya. Bye.